video. I just want to say I endorse Howie Hawkins uh, for president. Well, <laughs> well, let's be clear. Let's be clear. Uh, Bernie Sanders is still on the ballot for the remainder of this primary battle, right? So it's important for you to vote for him. And then also uh, a point I'm going to make a little bit later on in this video as well. Uh, please vote for Bernie Sanders. Get, get him as many delegates as possible. Um, there's a story written about how Bernie Sanders' secret plan is to, is to stay in the race and try to get as many delegates as possible just in case uh, Joe Biden is unable to continue. And we also can get as many delegates as possible to, uh, for Bernie Sanders uh, to fight them trying to make uh, the Cuomo governor <laughs> the nom uh, nominee now. So we got to continue with that. So don't get me wrong, I still want to endorse and advocate for uh, Bernie, as you see here. So, but let's say Joe Biden is the nominee. He's the presumptive nominee, and that's what's going to happen, right? Let's, let's be real. This is why I've been talking, and I know there have been a lot of discussion about what progressives should do, right? Um, at the end of the day, what's important is you devote your conscience, right? Do what you think is right. And don't concede to your morals and all that. But in my personal opinion, and I'm gonna try and not avo avo avoid uh, vo vo uh, voter shaming as much as I can. Um, I think voting for Joe Biden as a progressive is laughable, right? Especially considering how this campaign was ran, uh, considering that he said he would veto Medicare for all. I'm I'm not gonna get too much into that because I made a video uh, earlier today where I went into comprehensive detail why I would not vote for Joe Biden. So I'm going to avoid that mostly for this video here. But um, the idea of voting for him is laughable. And I think um, voting for the lesser of two evils is a trap and it only designed to push the country to a right-wing uh, direction. And the neoliberal fan fiction that they always throw at us, right? They always say, uh, we had to vote blue no matter who vote blue for less or two evils because you are more likely to get progressive policy passed. And my response to them, I just want I want them to show me when in history that happened. Like when, give me a good example of that happening. Uh, the Affordable Care Act is a right wing heritage foundation uh, plan. Um, we got Obama in office and he just doubled down on pushing trickle down uh, economics, making the Bush tax cuts permanent. Um, increasing the amount of wars we did, killing a ton of civilians with drone strikes. He was was the deporter in chief, uh, deported more people than George Bush and um, uh, Bill Clinton combined. Um, he built the cages that Trump locked the kids in right now. So I don't see the argument uh, for uh, pushing progressive policy by continuing to endorsing Joe Biden, a guy who's going to have Jamie Dimon and Michael Bloomberg in their, in his cabinet. So the reason why I have this theory, and I was talking to my good friend, um, Bernie1-2016, and she had a great chat while, where we had a lot of candidates that we we're going to be supporting on there sharing as well. And I was giving my thoughts on why we should vote for third party. And I think um, the, it's all about having voter leverage. And one big mistake, and, or sorry, one big uh, lie that you hear a lot from liberals is they will say that if you're not voting for the Democratic Party, you're wasting your vote. It's actually the exact opposite. Um, if you vote for, if you don't, if you, if you are progressive and you continue to vote for the Democratic Party and they're not uh, uh, continuing your interest, that's a true waste your vote because you're not putting your political ideas into the uh, political sphere itself. So if you get the Green Party to 5%, um, and then let's say Joe Biden loses by 5%. And now that get that shows the Democrats that they have to go get those votes. And that means they have to go to the left to get those votes. So because if you fall in line and you vote for the Democratic Party and then they lose, what what they've been doing? Every time they lose, they just keep uh, they continue to go further right to try and get the the uh suburban white vote, the conservative vote, and all that because they know that your vote uh is already locked down. So if you if we coalesce behind the Green Party, it will let them know that you have a voting block, not people that are not staying home, not people that are wasting a vote, but an actual voting block that will vote down ballot as well that they have to go get. And that's why that's a big reason why I, I'm endorsing uh, the Green Party. And, and I know there's a lot of people, a lot of progressives who may have some um, hangups on the Green Party. 
And this is my response to any criticism that you may have on the Green Party itself. Let's just fix the problems. <laughs> like, let, let's just fix the problems. Because the idea that progressive has for the last five years was we're going to take over the Democratic Party. But why not? It, that's not possible. That's not realistic. But now we can take over the Green Party and we can change it into a party that listens to the people that will have a very progressive platform, which it does. Because I'm not asking people to um, vote for anything that's outside of their belief system, right? And I, I don't want you to vote for a policy platform you don't believe in. The only, the only reason I'm okay with endorsing uh, Howie Hawkins is because um, his platform is actually further left than Bernie. He has pretty much the main policy platform, Bernie. He believes in uh, legalizing all drugs. I like that he called uh, defend Julian Assange and Chelsea Manning. Um, he it, it's just a great overall platform. Green New Deal. Um, it, it, it's it's I love the platform he has because I endorse it. So I'm not asking you to uh, support a platform that you don't like. If you are a true progressive um, that is anti-authoritarian. Uh, Holly Hawkins should be your guy policy wise. So I'm not asking you guys to concede on that front, but um, the the main goal that we need to do is we need to ha establish electoral power, and that's why um, it will be easier to get people to organize in the Green Party this time because I think last time there was a lot of pressure um, to vote for Joe Stein. I I still did and. And even in my circles, that was considered a little bit controversial. But now, among the people I'm around, uh, a lot of people saying they're not voting for Joe Biden. And, um, but now the discussion is just about what you should do now. And I'm telling you guys, please, please just take pride in your vote in Ber with Bernie Sanders in the primary. And that's why I told you guys to stay vigilant in this race because Bernie is still on the ballot. Please still vote for Bernie Sanders if you can. And... Um, take value in that vote, and then let's vote strategically um, as a left in, to, in 2020 and get the Green Party over 5% funding. And if, if if Green Party get 15%, if that's ever possible, that means they will be on, a, on the debate stage, which will be giant, man. That will be so giant um, and a great way to shift the Overton window to the left. Now, do I, well, I think they will let that happen. I think the Democrats and Republicans will find a way to break that. But let's make it a big story. Let's make it a fight. Let's get in the streets. So I think this is the only path forward to destroying the duopoly because I think with the media collusion, um, the establishment coalescing, um, the shameless attacks on the Bernie bros or whatever, I think the, the plan to take over the Democratic Party has to die. And you're going to hear a lot of progressive leaders a lot of progressive people in media that tells you that we should vote on Joe Biden, and I sympathize with their with their position. Um, they have to they have to say that for their career sake, and I'm not saying that in a judgmental way as, at all because they still they might believe it as well. But um, I politely decline.